Thanks for joining this how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. Meet Jane, an accidental admin for Acme Solutions. Acme Solutions has just implemented Salesforce to help build their support organization and provide an excellent customer experience. Jane's manager has asked her to implement features that will help Acme service reps respond to a high volume of cases, route them effectively to the right teams, create a process to escalate cases to the Tier 1 and Tier 2 teams, implement tools to make service agents' lives easier. Jane explores features that will help automate case tasks and make it easier for agents to triage, accept, and resolve cases. Let's follow Jane's journey. In today's fast-paced business world, responding to customer inquiries promptly is crucial. Auto response rules in Salesforce allow you to automate and streamline your communication. This is also typically the first touch point a customer has with your support team. Acme has a support email address that customers can submit cases through. The first feature Jane will implement are auto response rules, which will automatically send email responses to case submissions based on the record's attributes. To do this, Jane will click setup, enter auto response rules in the quick find box, select case auto response rules, click new. Enter a rule name. Select Active to activate the rule. Click Save. Create rule entries. Define the sort order. Enter filter criteria. For this example, we will set case origin, web. Next, set the name email address that this auto response will come from. Additionally, you can select a reply to email address in case the customer responds back to the email. Select the template. This example is a small acknowledgement message to the customer. Please note the email address specified must be a part of org-wide addresses in order for auto response rules to properly work. You are able to add multiple rule entries to the auto response rule, and those rules will fire based on the sort order when that criteria is met. With auto response rules implemented, Jane has helped Acme automatically respond to a high volume of cases and assure customers their inquiry was received. Next, Jane needs to help automate the right cases being sent to the right agents and teams. Acme agents are split into Tier 1 and Tier 2 teams. Jane will first create case queues as case queues help prioritize, distribute, and assign cases based on specific criteria that Jane will set. To create case queues, from Setup, enter queues in the Quick Find box, then select queues. Click New. Enter a label and queue name. Let's call this queue Tier 1s. Select the support object for the queue. In this scenario, we will select Cases. Add the agents to this queue that are Tier 1. Click Save. Create another label and queue named Tier 2. Select the case object once again. Add the agents to this queue that are Tier 2. Click Save. Now that we have our Tier 1 and 2 queues created, Jane will create case assignment rules that will route to the respective queues. To create case assignment rules, from Setup enter Case Assignment Rules. Click New. Enter a name for this rule. Let's call this Acme Assignment Rule. Activate the rule by checking the box and click Save. Click on the rule and now we can enter our rule criteria. Click New. Enter a sort order if there are multiple rules. Let's enter one in this example. Select the field Case Origin and let's set it to Email. Next, we will select the Tier 1 queue to route to. Click Save. Test out the rule by creating a test case. Set the case origin to Email and the case subject containing the word Email. Be sure to check the Assign using Active Assignment rule. The case should be routed to the Tier 1 queue, and that's it. Now any cases that are submitted via email to Acme Support will automatically be routed to the Tier 1 queue where agents can prioritize resolving them. At Acme, not all cases are created equal. In their fast-paced environment, cases sometimes need to be escalated based on certain factors. That is where Jane has discovered case escalation rules. 
Case escalation rules help ensure that critical issues receive the attention they deserve by the right people, resulting in better customer satisfaction. Let's say a case was supposed to close two days ago and now needs to be escalated. Escalation rules can help get the case flagged and prioritized. In this example, a case is being escalated to a user because it was supposed to close two days ago. The user gets an email notification notifying them the case was escalated along with a link to the case. Salesforce offers a range of productivity tools to help you simplify repetitive tasks and enhance agent and case efficiency. We'll focus on automation features such as macros and quick text. Let's consider a use case. Acme agents need to update the status and send a notification for multiple cases. Instead of doing this manually, which would take a long time, they can utilize macros. A macro allows you to complete this task in just a few clicks. Think of a macro as a sequence of automated actions that can be applied to records, like cases in our example. Macros can save you time and reduce errors by automating routine tasks. In this example, we will run the macro to change the status to working and the priority to high in one click. Utilities in Salesforce are helpful features that increase efficiency. For instance, Data Import Wizard simplifies data migration, and Duplicate Management helps you maintain clean data. Quick Text is another powerful tool. It lets you create reusable, predefined messages that can be inserted into emails, chats, or case updates. This saves agents time and ensures consistent communication. Quick texts are identified by this symbol and can be used to browse through a list of options and insert the text in a single click. To recap, Jane has implemented the following solutions which have created a process to auto-reply to customer cases, sent via email, routed cases to the right agents, escalate cases to the right managers, and enabled features to help agents be more efficient. Thank you for joining us on this journey through case automation features. For more detailed information and comprehensive documentation, please visit us at help.salesforce.com or join the vibrant Salesforce Trailblazer community at trailblazer.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.